सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज विनोद फ्रॉम इंडोरेंस इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी सो आई होप दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन अ फुल फ्लज मैनर ओके बट देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स विच आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विथ यू गाइस इन द लास्ट फोर फोर एंड ऑफ मंथ्स विच यू हैव नॉट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली uh four and of months also because we can remove the months which you need to do only for revision so we can keep it as four months okay so yeah four months now what you guys should do in this last uh four months in this 120 days approximately see the first thing which you guys need to understand is gate exam is not uh an exam which is going to check your memory power or it is not going to check your uh uh what is that uh, how much you know okay how much you know it is not going to check that it's going to check your aptitude in your engineering okay so that is something which i was saying from the beginning in different videos in different uh, ways but you guys need to understand that there are many there are very few students who are understanding it properly not everyone is understanding it uh, properly the mistake with the students are going through the concepts again and again going through the previous year questions again and again of course concepts and previous year questions are the base to start with okay they are the necessary one but they are not the sufficient one that is what you need to understand clearly so the first point i wanted to add here is don't focus only on the concepts you need to focus on the problems also these are the points which you should have done it at the beginning itself but in the last four month these things will become more crucial okay right next one sir problems where to practice it's very simple the base one is previous question of course which you should have done when you prepared your uh, topic at the beginning so when you start your topic at the beginning that is if you are preparing for example if you are preparing engineering mathematics after completing each chapter you should have uh, solved your engineering mathematics previous question okay that is something which you should have done it before itself okay that is one that that should have been done earlier not in this not during this uh not during the revision phase or not during the phase when you are uh, revising some subject if you are starting a new subject of course the first step should uh, should solve you should solve the previous question okay then what then where sir go for test series go for some good test series go for some good question bank okay practice questions from that okay and practice wide variety of questions rather than concentrating on single question that is don't repeatedly solve a same question try to solve variety of questions now you might ask me a question sir i solved some questions but uh, for example we'll take previous year questions i have solved some questions but i'm not able to solve the entire questions properly when i did it in my first attempt okay out of 20 questions you are able to solve only some uh, 15 questions in my first attempt five questions are not able to solve it now what i should do you have to follow the star mark technique which i have made a video separately earlier so what is that star mark technique suppose if you are solving some 20 questions previous year questions what are all the questions you are getting stuck mark that question and when you are revising practice that question alone unnecessarily don't solve the questions which you already know okay which you might have already solved it so that will unnecessarily increase uh, what i could say unnecessarily increase your uh, uh uh time which you are spending on the same topic basically it will waste your time okay and you don't have that much time to waste okay you have only some 120 odd days okay for focusing if you are focusing on gate 2023 okay so make sure that you are not repeatedly solving the question which you already know if you already know the question um uh, like if you already know that if you already solved it you would have not put the star mark so you don't have to concentrate so the, what is the uh, thing which you need to understand from this go for a different variety of questions and if you feel some questions you are not able to solve in your first attempt go with the star mark technique mark it with star and uh, do the question again when you revise it don't do all the questions out of 20 questions if you mark five questions star mark only concentrate on the five questions don't focus on the balance 15 question okay and uh, go for some good test series go for some question banks if you are uh, if you are from mechanical engineering or if you are from engineering science mechanical engineering students or if you are from engineering science gate endurance engineering academy we are offering online test series for both engineering science and uh, mechanical engineering you can check out okay so the links and all the details are there in the description you can check out if you are 
if you are not able to find out a good test series and demo test of our courses are also there is our test series is also there in the description you can go there okay right let us go back to what we are discussing that is what you should do in this four months so as i said don't focus only on the revision focus on your revision uh, that is don't focus only on the concept focus on the problems but you have to parallelly do your periodical revision okay it is not like you will leave the periodical revision and so it is not like that uh, practice practice variety of questions and also make sure that you uh, what is that make sure that you are uh, what is that make sure that you are practice you are revising the concepts which you already know revising the short notes which you which you, which you already have which you already made so revision and also the variety of questions new variety of questions both should go hand in hand i'm not saying that to concentrate only on revision or only on problems both has to go hand in hand and the next point which i wanted to add is plan your preparation properly because now you guys know what are the topics you completed okay obviously you know that you might have completed some four to five subjects or more than that some six to seven subjects and you'll be left out with some new subjects so plan your preparation properly ahead how you are going to do for the next three months how you are going to prepare your new subjects for the next three months how you are going to prepare your old old subject for the next three months how you are going to tackle the test series and how you are going to uh, tackle the revision okay so plan it practically that's something which is very important because few students will say that sir i will cover the entire topic the entire uh, syllabus within next three weeks then i will fully focus on problem solving how can you complete the entire syllabus if you have some three or four subjects left out within a three weeks not sure not possible at all right so plan it practically okay and if everything goes in hand in hand it will work your old subject revision your new subject preparation your um, what is that uh, your test series and practicing questions if all these three goes hand in hand it will work if you focus only on old subject and if you leave sorry if you focus only on the new subject and if you leave the old subject or if you leave that uh, leave test series or something like that you will end up with learning new subjects and forgetting the old subjects and won't able to learn the problem solving approach it is not only the concepts which is going to be helpful for you it is the concepts along with the problems which is going to play a huge role when it comes to uh, gate exam right fine now uh, what else are like what are the other things take care of your uh, what is that take care of your schedule properly what i was meant to say schedule i meant to i am not saying about your preparation schedule i am saying about your uh, uh, biological schedule okay how when you sleep when you wake up when you prepare when you will be active so make sure that you maintain the biological cycle properly because it will be useful to get habituated to something so that you won't feel the final day of the exam to be uh, fresh or new so make some schedule and make your biological schedule also properly so that it won't disrupt in your final day of your exam okay right see other than that just try to be very confident of course um, during this time of a month in the month of september and october you would have completed some subject and you will say you will feel that okay i have a steady number of subjects but uh, i'm forgetting all the subjects okay i have steady number of subject but now when i try to revise it i'm forgetting it if you have if you are facing this problem then obviously you are not doing periodical revision correctly you are not revising correctly that is the example which i said you are concentrating only on the new subject not on the old subject okay if you are concentrating only on the new subject and not on the old subject then you will forget all the old subject and you will feel very fresh in the new subject so plan both okay so if you are in this situation this is the mistake i am pointing out the mistake now okay if you are in the situation that you feel that you forgot all the things which you already studied which means you have not revised properly make sure that you revise the old subject and take the test for the older subject so that you could recollect it okay right and finally engineering mathematics and engineering aptitude make sure that you prepare engineering mathematics and engineering aptitude also properly because I have seen few students who will keep this engineering mathematics and aptitude for the end and uh, at one point of time they will feel that they will exhausted and they will they won't touch it but it is not like that right engineering aptitude it was like around 15 marks and uh, mathematics was around 10 to 13 marks so don't leave these subjects uh, until the end point okay so prepare it prepare it in between itself don't leave it for january or december in reality 
mathematics should be studied at first especially differential calculus integral calculus and all it should have been prepared at the beginning of your uh, beginning of your preparation and in between you can prepare the other other topics of mathematics but if you have not started then make sure that you cover uh, what is that mathematics um, in this month itself october or september mathematics and all the aptitude don't keep it until december or january okay so that what is that you will have that 25 marks in your hand that itself will give you some confidence okay so these are the things which i wanted to uh, share with you guys for the last four month preparation and uh, what is that if there is anything else uh, to be shared i will be making you making a separate video and uh, thank you for watching and if you are um, what is that if you feel that this video is going to be helpful for other students other students in the same students who are preparing for gate uh, do share with them okay thank you